Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In a previous video, I showed you how to make this free piston stirling engine. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. This type of engine needs a weight on the power piston, which is the balloon at the top. And we can use the oscillatory movement of the magnets that generate a varying magnetic field to induce a current in a coil. This is the coil. The plastic piece is 3D printed and the coil has 600 turns. It is magnet wire size 34AWG. And since the oscillatory movement of the magnet induces AC on the coil, I am using this bridge rectifier to convert the AC into DC. The plastic part with the coil simply goes here and I will fix it with tape. Okay, the multimeter is connected to the coil, so let's turn on the engine to see what voltage do we get. Okay, we could see that we have some problems of the magnet colliding with the plastic part. However, we got a voltage in the multimeter of around 1.5 volts. But we are interested not only in the voltage, but also in the current. Because with these two parameters, voltage and current, we can calculate the power. 
In order to measure the power, we will do the following. Here we have the coil, this is the bridge rectifier, and at the output I will put a resistor, which is the load on our system. Through the resistor we will have a voltage and a current. We can measure separately the voltage and current and then calculate the power as voltage times current. However, from Ohm's law we know that the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. If we know the resistance, which in my case is 10 ohms, we can calculate the power using this formula, knowing only the voltage. Here we have the resistor at the output of the bridge rectifier and now with the engine in operation let's measure the voltage again and calculate the power. Now that we know that the output voltage is 0.06 volts, we can calculate the power and we get the astounding value of 0.36 milliwatts. Of course, this is a ridiculously low value of power. The real output power of the power piston must be much larger than that. We will need to play with the parameters of the coil, the number of turns, the position and the gauge of the wire. Another option will be to couple the movement of the power piston to a flywheel and then couple a small generator to the flywheel. That may be more efficient. However, it will be hard to get even, even uh, 1 watt from this engine. Okay, so there you have the test of our little engine as a generator of electricity. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.